The new skill today is can you learn new skills? Yeah. Are you adaptable? Are you flexible? Are you willing to try new things? Um, are you willing to, to learn a new process, a new software? And so as we look at the, the strategy for what we're doing at the Boys and Girls Sub, we have you know, drones and 3D printers and, and, and coding, not because we expect every one of these kids to be a game developer or to go into tech, but because we're conditioning them to get flexible and to work out a muscle. And I think that that's going to be one of the more competitive skills that you'll have in the marketplace is if you're willing to be that person in a company, um, you have a huge advantage. You have a huge advantage, and, and, it, and it, it, that's what gets, I think, rewarded in the real world. So when I was in the Air Force and flying, I remember um, we were in the, in the flight before we took off for that day. We had two flights in the morning. And I remember the flight commander said, flexibility is the key to air power. And that, the idea being that this is a contact flying day, severe, clear, beautiful. And in Oklahoma, Texas, Oklahoma border, border uh, the weather can turn increment like on a, on a snap, right? Two seconds flat. So you may have a contact flying mission, but if it goes inclement weather, cloudy, thunderstorms, whatnot, you got to have the flexibility to change your flight profile. Yeah. So the idea of giving this to kids is really, really important. And, you know, I, I like it on a, cu a couple levels. It teaches them flexibility, and maybe it gives them a touch of something they've accomplished. Mm -hmm. And maybe it gives them a sense of belief in themselves. And maybe it's an inflection point where they say, you know what, if I can do that, Maybe I can do this and this and this. Because ultimately, life's between your ears and what you believe, right? And certainly, people can speak into your life negatively or positively. But you guys are a force for good.